Hi there. So we're going to go through this um, Airbnb that we're staying at. There's a lot of fantastic things. We absolutely love it. We would definitely stay here again um, and you know recommend it. We'll more than likely give the guy a five-star review because there's so many great things about it. But what we're going to do is um, we're going to go through it, show you all the wonderful things about it, but try to look at it from um, an investor's eye or if we were going to purchase this place and what we would do differently. So um, again, the things that are positive about it, it is spacious. It has 450 square feet, which is, um, you know, I want to say it sleeps two, four, six. I think this is, I know that this one over here, this couch over here is a sleeper sofa. And I think it's a queen size, that's why it's so huge. Um, and I think this one is two, I would have to check on that. But it sleeps at least six, maybe eight. Um, and so let's just go through. Again, one of the first things that we noticed when we came in, it is spacious, it's bright, it's light. Um, and we really just love that about it. Something that um, we like also is it has tons of seating. We've got you know seating here, seating here. We've got super comfortable seating over here. You can even use these chairs that were uh, part of the dining table to use for seating. But things that are we would do differently is um, this. There's a random uh, tall stool here. There's only one. Why? I'm not quite sure. I don't know. Maybe they were using this as a table. I don't know. But I think that could have been differently. I would have just taken it out altogether. This is, uh, you know, it's nice. It has a little tray that you can bring out with you. I like that idea a lot. I just wouldn't have had it over here. Um, this looks very dated to me. I would have removed that altogether. If, the, if you didn't want to replace these chairs, they're, they're kind of cheap. Um, they don't really go with, with everything here. Um, but you know, they're chairs, it's fine. The other thing is, um, even though that it was built in 1975, and these mirrors were awesome in 1975, and it does give for a very uh, full look in here, uh, makes everything look larger, but I would, you know, if we bought this, I would want to remove those and put shiplap up. You know, we like shiplap. Um, and I think it would just help to update it a little bit. The ceiling fan here, again, great, probably in 1975 or 1980, but for now, what I would like to see, if we owned it, is I would remove this and replace it with like a, one of those propeller looking fans that have, uh, let's say it has three blades on it. It's a nice wood look um, to help just kind of warm it up a little bit. Um, so I would change that and I would still keep the light furniture. I like that look. Um, Brad had mentioned the popcorn ceiling when we came in and it's really expensive to, uh, to fix that, to take it off. But again, it's not that bad. If you have the money or you know somebody that knows how to do that or you know how to do that yourself, great. You know, you can replace that and put a normal ceiling on there and that would be great. But again, you know, it's that, um, that return on investment. How much do you want to spend? So as far as something that's inexpensive, that would be inexpensive to replace. This is in, inexpensive to replace. Taking this off, obviously, is no money. Um, and then, so when I come into uh, an Airbnb in a destination like Sanibel, Island, Florida. What I think of is I want to see something that looks very Florida, very tropical. And the artwork in here, I would definitely change. Um, there's not a cohesiveness with it. It needs to have more of a tropical, uh, a beachy feel to it. And you can have a very updated beachy feel. So I would take these off, these things off, and maybe put up a nice surfboard. Something like that, a vintage surfboard would be super cool there. But, you know, something along that line, that's what I would do. I would take these lamps out. Now, obviously we need lighting in here. 
if money wasn't an option and we owned it, I would put in those, um, oh, what are they called? Puck lighting or they're, they're like slim little cassette ones. Brad did a video on those. I would have those put in here because then you have that nice lighting, put everything on a dimmer. It, 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 I think it would just really upgrade the place. But again, it's still, we love it here. We really, really do. Um, but something that would be easy if you couldn't, if you didn't want to put in the ceiling, the ceiling lights, um, I would change these lights out, these lamps out. They don't really go together. I think that the shade is over, oversized for the lamp. I would just put something really simple in there um, just so that it gives some light. Something that I do like about the place, again, trying to go with some of the positives with it, I really love the idea that they have um, games sitting out. They're, you know, they're organized and everything. It looks good and um, it's accessible. It's probably something I would like to incorporate in our Airbnb, our Airbnb at home. So um, I do like that aspect of it. And um, this here, I, you know, again, like I said before, I like the idea of the white furniture. And I get that they wanted to go with the, the wicker or rattan look. Um, but I think it looks kind of cheap here. So what I would do is I would not have this and I would probably have that tray that, that I showed you at the beginning. I would probably move that over here or something that's similar to it so that it, it has more of a, um, an updated look to it. Um, another thing is this over in here. Uh, so behind here is, and we have, we're living in this right now. So we have some of the stuff out. We've got our, the cart over here, it's a beach cart, which is awesome to have. That was something that they really did well. Um, so we're, we're all packed to go to the beach in a little bit here. And so, but everything was stored behind here. So they had plenty of chairs. They had the beach cart. They have, um, Oh, the mats to lay on the sand rugs and just other water things there. And then they cover it all up by putting this here, which I understand that it's, they want to make sure that you see it so that you're able to use it. But what I would do differently, because if you come over here on this side, when you walk in, you see it underneath the stairs. And I think it just, it just looks a little bit messy. Um, there's a huge closet on the side here that it could have gone in. Uh, you wanna show it right in here, hun? There's plenty of room in here to store that beach stuff. So that's what I would have done. I would have put everything in here. All right, I think it's great having a TV. This is about 32 inches long. It's just too small. So we've got these two couches here. So let's say a family's here, Florida can get some rain. I would put this TV up on the wall. For under $300, you can get a 50, 55 inch Samsung smart TV. We wanted to watch a series on Netflix that we're hooked on and uh, we couldn't, just not a smart TV. So I think it's time to upgrade this. Put the wires behind the wall, mount the TV. Now you won't be able to get rid of all the wires because he's got cable and so on, but you could certainly put a low profile shelf on the wall itself under the TV and you could hide all those wires. So that's a definite on my list. Built in 1975, all these outlets, like well this plate's probably been replaced, but there's a lot of ivory with white. A lot of these light switches are actually dirty. Let's come on over here and look here. Here we have an ivory one and it just doesn't go for very little money. You can upgrade this, make this all white and clean. In here is the washer and dryer, which is fantastic to have. So the half bath is right off of the front door here. Um, it's got a closet in here. We'll open that in just a second. And it's, when we came in here, it was clean. Um, it's bright and, and that, but, um, which is great. That's all you're looking for is a, and it's a nice size bathroom too, which is again, really, really good. Um, but if we owned it, a couple of things that I would like to do differently, one, is I would have it at least one wall painted just to kind of give it a little bit of a pop. I love the white, you know, trim with everything and the chrome, I love that. 
and um, I just think that it would look better if it had a little bit of a pop. The other thing is I would have, um, again, some more, a beachy feel to it in here. Actually, you know something what would look really cool is to have some texture, have some interest, and have a, just the one ball shiplap. That would look really good. Um, so, but anyhow, and you can whitewash it. Um, again, it just gives that updated beachy feel to it. You're in Florida. This is a really, it's a cute picture. I like it, but I wouldn't have it in here. We're in, we're in Sanibel. So I would have something that's a little bit more beachy looking. The toilet looks newer. It's great. It's clean. Um, the ped pedestal sink, again, it's, it's really nice. We love it. Um, I would use that in my own home if I needed one. So that's great. It's got a nice large mirror. Um, I like that it has a, a shelf here if you want to get ready in the morning. Um, you know, it has everything there. It's got a little towel rack on it. It's great. All right, so this is the kitchen, the full-size kitchen, which is, um, we really appreciate that. We love it. Pardon the mess. We've been living out of here. We need to do the dishes. Um, so there's plenty of cupboards. Um, it's a full-size refrigerator and freezer that's over here. They did a great job as far as that goes. It's clean. It's large. Um, you know, it's, it's great. The sink, full-size sink. That's, you know, perfect. Um, and the, the cupboards, the color of the cupboards, it's light, it's airy. Uh, we like that aspect of it. And over here, we have the, we have it like our little command center, so to speak. Um, you know, we'll put different things on here. We've got a window here, which is great. But um, again, if we owned it, we would do a couple of things differently. First thing we would do is, uh, I mean, the color isn't bad. That's one thing that they did have that's more tropical, Florida looking. That's fine, you know. Um, it's not my favorite color, but again, it still looks good. Uh, you know, it looks, it looks fine. But um, I wouldn't have chickens in a, in a floral plate in here. Personally, I wouldn't do that for Florida. Um, you know, having this color for the, the vases, that's fine. Um, but I just would put, I don't know, something there, anything there that's more, it doesn't have to be, um, oh, what's that word, kitschy, you know, um, and cheap looking, but it can be nice and simple. You don't have to have a ton of things. So anyhow, um, that's all great. Uh, there's a random basket here. It does have some shells in there, but I I would probably just leave that out altogether. The I think what they tried to do was have it a little beachy looking with this this uh, curtain in that. I mean, and it's it's kind of cool. It's kind of vintage looking. So, but I don't know. I would probably just have just have uh, blinds because it's the it's the window. So you have it. You know, it's nice and bright. But I would have some some blinds in here instead. I think that it would look nicer. Um, another thing that we have about here, one thing I noticed when we were looking, we we're looking through all the cupboards and I'll open these up. There's just like dishes ev everywhere. And if you see, or you are able to sleep six to eight people in here, I don't think you need to have service for like 25 people. Um, it just looks messy to me. So I do like the idea that majority of them are white, so it has a cohesiveness. They don't have to be exactly the same, um, but you, it just looks messy to me. And what else do we have in here? It has everything that you might need, you know, mixing bowls. It has glasses, a variety of glasses. Um, that's great. In here, they have plastic glasses, which I'm not quite sure why. They have it, um, Captiva Island, Florida. They have these little matching cups, plastic cups. Um, and I'm guessing that it's for the beach. That's, that's fine, but I would just have a set of these for the beach or something along that line. Just something, again, you only need like at the most eight, I would think. And um, they're inexpensive. They would look nicer, again, that cohesiveness. Um, so that's, that's really about it. 
Um, they do a great job with things. I would probably change this out. I don't think that that looks very, even though this is, this is a, you know, a tropical plant in there, I would change that out to something just, just simple, you know, life at the beach or, you know, some kind of, uh, um, a word sign. So that's it, but that's just kind of being nitpicky. Do we love the kitchen? Yes. Is the kitchen clean? You bet. That's what you're looking for. It's spacious, it's well stocked, and it's clean. So again, you know, we're not trying to be critical here. We're just trying to, just trying to look at things with um, a different set of eyes so that when we're hosting, um, whether you're doing your home, whether you have um, another Airbnb that you purchased and you're using strictly for rental, just kind of looking at it just a little bit differently. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention the stove. There's two other things in here. Stove top works great. It's nice. Uh, the oven, we haven't used the oven yet, but it's clean. And it's, it's, a, it's a really nice looking range. So I'm um, happy with that. Then I'll show you the pantry here. Pantry is here. And again, it's well stocked, which is nice. It just looks messy to me. If I were hiring a cleaner, I would make sure that this was staged and clean. I wouldn't have this on here. It's like wallpaper or contact paper or something like that. I would just paint it white and be done with it. Um, but again, it's well stocked and that's what you want. All right, so I will show you upstairs. Come on with. All right. So again, it's a decent sized bathroom. I do like this uh, plaster look that they put on here. I think that that gives texture. It looks, I really like that a lot. I think they did that well. Um, again, the bathroom is bright. It's large, it's clean. Um, this is all nice top tile in here. Um, so, but uh, as far as, and it has, room to put things for storage that's all great and i think that this mirror over here is a medicine cabinet yep sure is and that oh look at that they, put, they must have painted it so it looks nice and clean in there that's awesome some things that i would do differently if if we owned it um i noticed that this is a little dated would i change it probably not it's to put a new new doors on it's a few hundred dollars just to do that so is it really worth it I don't think so I think it, I think it's just fine um, I would change or I wouldn't change this out unless you had money to spare yeah I would fix that is it a huge deal probably not but I have no idea why they have a snowman in Florida in the bathroom but whatever that's you know it's fine it's, it is cute but it is odd to have it in here um, this picture, some of the pictures, they, they are cute. This is really cute. I love the vintage look to it, but it doesn't, it doesn't scream Florida to me. Um, I, this is, I have no idea why they have that in here, um, you know, for storage, I guess, but who needs all of that stuff? Um, I would paint and I, they have little hooks over here. If you want to try to get that babe, Did you see the hooks on there? I don't know why they have hooks on there. That'd be kind of gross to have hooks by the toilet and by the garbage, but I would take those off and then I would paint the, um, the cabinet. Um, but it, again, is it good for us? Yep, sure is. Is there a tile clean floor? Everything is clean in it? Yep, it is. So the sink itself is decent and um, yeah. So I would change out the pictures and just do a couple of just really inexpensive cosmetic things in here. Um, all right, so, so I'll show you the other bedrooms. I'll show you the bedrooms, not the other bedrooms, there's two. All right, so this is the second bedroom. Um, I'll show you the master in just a little bit, but it has, uh, it's nice, it's roomy, it's light. I really like that. I do like the color. Um, I don't know if you can see it quite yet, but this is a pretty color blue. I like that. I'm not sure why they have this random picture here. Again, it's not, it doesn't scream Florida to me or tropical. It's pretty, but um, you know, it's nice that it has a chair in here. Um, the bed, it's a full size bed, but it doesn't, it doesn't look super comfy. Um, and it looks like the bedspread they got at um, 
from a hotel that's closing. I don't know. Um, actually, it doesn't feel too too bad. It's pretty comfortable for a for a small bed like this. So anyhow, um, so there's the bed. It's nice. It's simple. Um, these lamps, these aren't bad. That's fine. I I like the lamps. That's great. They have a picture over here on the wall. Um, the, I like the picture. It's, I mean, it's not one that I would probably choose, but it's not bad. I would just put a different frame on it, not a pink 80s frame. Uh, these, I like this. I think that this, I mean, it's a, it, it, this is a little close to the bed, the sharp edges, um, but I do like having the idea of the open shelving. It's not over cluttered. It's that's great. So they did they did a lot of things really well in here. It's got a large closet. Um, plenty of room. They left hangers for everyone, and um, so they did a lot of things really well with this. The is okay. So if I was going to um, like update it, if we bought this place, a couple of things I would do. One is I would make this um, shelf wider so the pillows actually fit on it instead of being crunched up there. This, these, and I don't know, I've never seen these before, but they don't have a regular rod on here, so you have to hang it like, you know, this, and then you put it this way. Yes, it's backwards. The other thing, super small detail, but first off, you don't need to have you don't need 30 hangers if you're vacationing. Um, I would probably just change it out. They're really inexpensive, like $5 for 10 or something like that, or even a dozen I've seen it. Just wood, simple hangers. And I would put, you know, 10 hangers in here and maybe some uh, things here for skirts and pants. But, and I don't know why the shoe rack is in here. Maybe for longer term, I don't know. Um, I would take this out. I just, it kind of looks yucky. but. Again, you know, just picking at it, but um, I still love it. I really do. They did a lot of things really well in here. Um, so, all right, so I'll show you into the master bedroom. The master bedroom, it's, it's really large. I don't even know how big this thing is. It's, it's really big though. Um, and it has a lot of, it's got a lot of natural light in here. It's great as far as that goes. Um, they have a, a deck out here. I'm not sure if everywhere in Florida, if it's called a, a lanai, I think, but basically it's a covered deck. Um, and I'll show you, come on out here. Somebody's playing tennis out there right now. And uh, it's just really nice to have. And uh, it's beautiful outside. They have uh, space here for to sit out here. If this was ours, um, I don't know if we could make it any larger. It would be nice if it was just just a foot larger, just to have a little bit more room to be able to walk through. But what I would do is um, I would just put a different, or I would, yeah, probably put different chairs in here that would be comfortable, small but comfortable, and then a little table so you can enjoy your coffee out here in the morning. In the bedroom itself, the bed, I think it's a queen size bed. It's very comfortable. Um, we're very happy with it. The, the bed itself is comfy. The sheets are super comfy and um, headboard and that, and it looks, it looks good. Um, it's got the, you know, um, <laughs> lamps on both sides of the bed and the mirrors along the, along the wall there, even though, yeah, is it dated? Yeah, it is. But would I change it? No, because it's it's nice. It does make the room look larger. It's not that smoky glass that's in the um, the living room downstairs. This is just a normal glass mirror, and it's nice because when you're getting ready in the morning, you want to make sure that you look decent. Um, you know, so I would keep that. Something that I would change though is this. Again, this isn't very cohesive, and it's kind of kitschy. I would have something, you can have artwork that is beachy, but it's more updated looking and it looks, it looks cool. I would probably, again, bring some shiplap in here, um, you know, and have it whitewashed. And then all you need is something super simple over the bed. 
and, and not all of this. Um, I would, I mean, the lamps are okay. Um, the nightstands are, they're okay. They're not great, but they're okay. The one thing that I did notice about this place, um, there's books, picture books and that all, all over, which is nice, but I have yet to find anything on Florida, on Sanibel Island, or on Shelly. And Sanibel is known for the shells. Um, and I haven't found anything. I found it all over the world, everything else. But um, so I, I think just something, one thing that I noticed when you come to a destination, you want to see things and you want to be able to explore things about the island, about the place that you're at. And um, so I, I mean, again, something that we're going to incorporate more at our place is to get some more books on Madison. We have a few, we have some artwork on Madison, um, and we have a few books that are, you know, sitting out for our guests on Madison. We're gonna get some more because it is, it's important to look at that stuff. Um, another thing about the, I, we don't like the bedding, <laughs> even though the colors are, I guess, um, more Florida, it's, it, it looks like they got it, just like the other room, from a hotel that was closing out. And uh, I would get something different, but is it a big deal? No, is it a deal breaker? No, it's not, and that's okay. Um, something we did notice when we went to put our phones in to charge at the night, there's only one outlet over here. There's another outlet behind the bed, but you can't get at it. So for $5, you could put um, just a strip or a cube. I like the fact that they have a TV in the room. Um, I would probably get a little one that's a, just a little bit larger, a uh, smart TV, and um, that's relatively inexpensive. Um, it doesn't have to be mounted on the wall, that's okay. And so that's, it's, but it's still, it's nice to have one in here. Um, it's got a nice little seating area, the chairs are comfy. Um, let's see here, what else do they have? They have a dresser here, which is great, we've already utilized that. And, oh, the, the blinds. Um, I am not a big fan of this type of blind. Um, we already had a couple of them fall off and we have them behind here. So they come off really easily. And, uh, and look at, this was already here when we got here. One of the balances came off and I'm guessing that the cleaning crew just put it in the corner instead of putting it away or trying to fix it. Um, it's those little things again. If you are uh, scaling your business and you're not doing the cleaning yourself, you're hiring someone, make sure that they tell you uh, when something is broken, something is missing, um, or other things like that so so that you can replace it. Is it a deal breaker for us? No. Do we still love the master bedroom in here? You bet. It's, it's a small thing, but it's really easy to fix. So it's just those little things that that's one of the reasons why we like to clean ourselves when we're doing our Airbnb because we notice all of those little details. Um, so I'm going to show you the bathroom that we have attached to the master suite. Come on in. In here, there's plenty of space as far as that goes. It was, um, it was clean. Again, the tile on the floor, I love that. And I'll just turn this on briefly because it has a fan already on it. It's a little bit loud. But um, <clears throat> the shower in here, it was clean, it's spacious, it's tile. The tile actually looks relatively new. The toilet is, is clean, it's, you know, it's fine, it's a toilet. <laughs> so, um, some things that uh, we noticed that I would do differently. Um, this, I don't know if it's the, the rod or if it's the, um, the hooks that they use for the shower curtain. But it doesn't, it doesn't slide very well. Um, I think the hooks need to be changed. The curtain, you know, that's fine. It's not my style, but that's fine. It matches the, the walls in here, that's okay. Um, this was a nice idea that they had for the for people to put their things in. But when you're taking a shower, you bump into it all the time. It should be moved to either the front or the back. And that way it's still accessible for everybody, but it is not um, in the way. 
So that's it for it here. But they, again, they did a lot of things right. So that's, that's good. Um, in the bathroom, it's plenty of lighting. And they have another one of these over here, the medicine cabinets, and which is, which is a good thing to have. But um, what I would do differently is um, I would take this off. I don't know why they have that random strip of wallpaper up there. Maybe it's to hide something. I, I don't know. Um, so I would take that off. This is dated, but it's not that bad. I would keep it. Um, they have fluorescent lights in here. Um, you know, I'm not a big fan of them, especially the curly Q ones. I think they can get LEDs or fluorescent ones that look nicer than that. Again, it's just that aesthetic thing. Um, not trying to pick at it. Again, we still like it. In here, uh, they didn't paint this one. They painted the other bathroom, but in the medicine cabinet, it's a really nice thing to have. It's, it has a nice place for you to store your things away. So this is a huge walk-in closet. It's got a lot of space in here. And they had a couple of extra things, you know, extra blanket and that in here. Um, that's...